seconds. Nick gets the rebound. You bring it up, pull it from three, and so on. Yeah, I was uh, grateful that Royce got the rebound because uh, that, def- that shot could have definitely gone either which way. Um, you know, I was trying to go for the kill shot, uh, put us up two, uh, give us a chance to come back in the huddle, and then they, you know, have the pressure on them. Uh, but the ball bounced to, to Royce, thank God, and uh, we got this win, and we get to come out of here and talk about how great of a game we did play. But, um, you know, I think even with that being said, there's some things that we can improve on. Did you get a chance to talk to him? I'm sorry. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Kevin afterwards? Yeah, he's in good spirits, as we all are. Um, you know, the strength of our team is, is, is us picking each other up and uh, just being ready for whatever's thrown at us. We're down as many as nine in the fourth quarter without Kevin. We are able to rally back. I mean, just what, what kept you guys composed during that stretch? Uh, just staying poised. Uh, as you saw, there were a few turnovers down the stretch or shots that could have gone either way. But um, in an NBA basketball game at the highest level, you got to be able to stay poised. And I felt like we did a great job of that and just um, taking our time possession by possession, knowing that um, you know mistakes inevitably are going to happen um, and shots are going to be missed, and we just got to make them miss. Last year. But if Kevin has to miss any kind of stretch at all, what changes the most without him on the floor? Uh, I, I just think obviously our strategy is, uh, you know, pretty pretty clear that me and Kay are, are leading predominantly most of the offense, um, and we have incredible shooters, incredible talented basketball players around us. And now I think it shapes into um, all around offense and uh, guys being ready to play and make. Um, you know, an impact out there. So uh, I think one of the greatest qualities of our team is our bench um, and the way we support each other, despite who's in the lineup. Um, and now it's just time to go out and exemplify that until we figure out the timeline of K um, and when he could be available again. So just got to be mature about it. How scary is it just to see, you know, a teammate and a friend go down like that? Uh, it doesn't feel good emotionally, to be honest with you. Um, it, was, it was definitely going to be... Uh, uh, easy for me to kind of uh, let my emotion show, but um, just had a choice to make and, and things like that. So uh, with Kay, we, we know what we're up against. Uh, with him not being in the lineup, we could say it every single day, but we don't have time for any excuses. We just got to keep moving forward and um, stay mature about it, like I said. Yeah, I was right there. Uh, those plays are scary because when someone's not looking, uh, you know, what, what's going on and, you know, anything could happen in those moments. So I'm, I'm grateful that. Uh, you know, all that time that he's put in the weight room, putting his body in a great position, um, his body was able to save him from something worse. Uh, so that's why I stepped on the court, right? Like, as soon as it happened, uh, you know, it's just natural reaction, natural human reaction. Throughout your career, and your coach mentioned post game that it kind of affected the way that you wanted to get the shot off because you wanted to kind of get it off before the double team came. The Heat obviously threw those, they hedged and recovered, they switched. And you obviously still had a great game, but just wanted to get your thoughts on the way that they defended you and how you guys responded. Yeah, it's Miami Heat basketball. When you come into this arena, uh, you know what to expect from Spo. Uh, guys are going to play extremely hard. They're going to double you. They're going to hit you. Um, and that's what you want as a competitor, to be honest with you, is to be tested at the high level, highest level. Um, and we got a chance to see them uh, at this point in the season again. Uh, and come out victorious. Uh, we see them. I'm not sure how many times we see them again, but um, I know that it'll be a different uh, strategy game, and we'll go back at it. So I uh, just got to be uh, ready to adapt to anything, any situation that's going on. You know, Miami throws everything at you, zone, man, double team. Uh, so it only makes me better.